Hi, I'm Vishal. We will see uh, how to create this uh, scene using Mesh Network in Maya. So we have we are using Mesh Network to distribute the coconut plants on the island, and we are using Texture Deformer tool in the Deformer menu, and we are using uh, AI Standard Surface to create water, and we also use the Physical Skylight to create the sunlight for this whole scene. The idea of this whole tutorial is to give uh, an overview of the tools what I am saying. Let's uh, create a disk here and increase the radius and then uh, make the subdivision mode to quads and uh, no not exactly the sides to quads and uh, subdivision mode to circle and keep on adding the subdivisions here. I'll be using a deformer called texture and uh, I'll open attribute editor and choose a ramp here and I'll choose a circular ramp and uh, you will able to see here a small elevation there and uh, in the texture noise I will use fractal and uh, just trying to randomize the surface here like that so it's all procedurally achieved like that and uh, I'll be using the texture deformer and increase the strength to as much as I want so once that is done I have got these three objects here if you just see uh, I'll put this into a layer hide it and break these three models okay uh, what are these three models these are simple uh, coconut trees which are having slight variance in the bend nothing more than that so plane 1 for, uh, 13 14 and 15 are the objects and this is the plane so I'll be selecting these three objects here and I'll go to the create mesh network and then uh, just create the mesh network here defaultly it will be in the distribute mode so I'll open attribute editor it is in distribute mode and number of points are uh, can be controlled and I really don't care this because I want to use instead of um, distribute I want to use the world so I go to add world option and then just create this and uh, the world node can be selected uh, from here and I will choose instead of ball I'll use map based and map based me I'll open um, and uh, if you see okay in the map settings here there is option called placement map so it is map based and this is placement map here I'll be using a ramp and I'll choose a circular ramp uh, and right now I'm using map but I really need to see which ma uh, geometry to which the total plants has to be created so I'll be uh, selecting this disk and adding that into the input mesh uh, section like that and if you see the uh, plants the coconut trees are on the island but the thing is uh, uh, the distribute uh, related uh, trees are uh, spread like that so what I'm going to do is previous points I'll choose this to kill and that should kill that and you get additional points and I can add as many as trees I want like that okay and uh, if you feel they're colliding with each other you can increase the colliding collision strength and uh, here I'll choose random ID mode and I'm going to choose minimum zero and uh, I'll just check how many 
0, 1, 2. There are three objects which are used. So I'll just go to the world 0, 1, and 2. So I'll get that variance of the tree there. Uh, I'll just uh, scale down the radius so that I get a lot of uh, trees on this small island. So you can choose that way and increase as many as you want. And if you feel the trees uh, should be random in size and variance, you can go to the mesh network there and you can choose this option called random and then you get the random node. So go to the random node here and uh, I'll choose the position 0 and uh, rotation Y I'll just choose uh, so rotation Z not rotation Z really I think I need to use all of them Uh, this will make things um, okay uniform scale. So you should see that uh, I've distributed this uh, plants along the island there. And if you just go down here to the um, placement. I can just uh, control uh, where this uh, plant should be. I don't want that to be uh, in the edges. I've just choose this to UV. And uh, yeah. So you could see I've just created a small island of coconut plants uh, on that. Uh, I will just create a disk. Firstly, I'll assign a standard surface shader. I'll not use any reflections and just give a color of just sand or something like that. N nothing complex here. So I'll just create a disk and then scale this way long. Okay. And uh, I will duplicate this and uh, create a plane. So there are two planes here one on the bottom and one on the top and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose uh, the render settings here and uh, not render settings sorry I'll create a yeah a physical sky just for the sunlight and for this I'll be using the AI standard surface and uh, just uh, in the bump map I'll be choosing the noise texture out color red I'll be choosing to the bump value like that and then I'll just choose uh, Arnold render and then you should get this so you got a nice sunlight and the water cool uh, I select this scale I'll put to thousand thousand and thousand so that I get all that small sized ripple on the plane there I reduce the bump value to 0 0.05 to get a very little amount of bump here or slightly lower to that and then I will just go to the transmission and make this everything transparent and then what I'm going to do is in scatter I'll choose some aqua color and I'm going to control how deep and how shallow the water should be 
but before that I need to select the plane to which the water has uh, created and uh, I'm going to select in the Arnold section as transparent not opaque so now you get the water transparent and then I need to enable the depth of the surface so you should get that nice um, shallow water getting the slight transparency and the deep water getting uh, that we've reduced the amplitude and uh, I change the scale also just to get some bit more decent result now you see that nice uh, um, shallow waters and then deep waters here and you get that nice transparency around the edges of the beach